Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Libra sun, moon, and rising sign or any placements in your natal chart. You can apply these energies because this is a Libra energy reading. So you can apply these, um, you can apply this energy to wherever it applies in your natal chart for the next seven to 10 days. Whenever you see this video, perfect timing. Don't worry about the date. Just know that it applies for about that time. There's, a, there's an extinguishing point. So Libra, let's see what's up with you guys as we navigate the second day of the retrograde. Libra, 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 Libra energy, Libra, Libra energy. Let's see if there's anything that wants to jump around. Libra. 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 Absolutely take it. Here we go. Use your mind wisely. When pigs fly, the impossible is about to happen and time to collaborate. Um, this is really interesting energy. For me, automatically, it starts to make me think that something or somebody is coming into your life that you never thought was possible, the impossible, the impractical. Uh, maybe you th like the impossible person, the impossible person is coming into your life, the impossible compre the impossible collaboration. This is an energy of something that you thought would never happen actually happening. So if you've been single for a long time, if you've been out of work for a long time, an energy of um, the like having an energy of having a reason to doubt and then seeing the impossible happen. This is also this idea of use your mind wisely, which is the cards statement the written statement on this card which is um ask for help be willing to ask for help be willing to accept help be honest where you need it and be open be like what is what is wise how do we define wisdom be wise in your collaborations in who you decide to let into your life there could be a part of you that's sitting back and thinking why did i ever let this person into my life now that I'm wiser, now that I'm older, now that I'm learned, now that my ego's separate and I can just look at this as, you know, objectively, why did I ever let this happen? Or remembering all of those lessons that you've learned before you get into another connection with somebody else. It's not even about red flags. It's about higher standards and um, wanting something other than what you used to want because now you've matured and you when it comes to this is other people right this is time to collaborate when it comes to other people and who you decide to work with not only making decisions about seeing a shift in you about um with, with regards to who you want in your life but also seeing a shift in how you deal with people how you work with people more patience more calm more listening than but you always listen and before you before you speak anyway and you're always extremely good at collaborating with others but maybe that's part of the problem and now you've gotten wise to that part of the problem realizing where you were too lenient realizing where you gave too much realizing where you made bad choices and people in the past this is just the idea of growing up when it comes to relationships of any and all sorts. This could be business partnerships. This could be romantic relationships. No, no, no. The wonderful thing about this energy is it's that it's all relationships is that you getting wise to uh, making better choices in your, your, I'm losing words and I've been losing words all week. I apologize. Let me not repeat myself. Let me just say it. 
um, making better choices in terms of who you decide to collaborate with. Being more picky, being more selective, um, making those choices, like I said, based not on pride or ego or even attraction, and instead basing them on, is this a good person? Is this somebody who I can rely on? Is this, are they true, their nature? Not necessarily how they make you feel or what they can do for you, but how they can work with you, how they work with others, you know, um, who they are, you know, digging deeper into quality over quantity and really wanting talent. This, this is, there's an edge here of wanting skill and talent over anything right now to be in your life. But it's also this impossible in collaboration because this is definitely an energy of when pigs fly. Something that you never thought was possible. So maybe you never thought it was possible for you to shift and change your mind and start seeing somebody in your life differently or just welcoming people into your life differently. Um, but there is definitely a shift here that you didn't see coming, but you welcome it for some reason. And I think it has a lot to do with different kinds of difficult, I won't say negative because negative and positive is both part of balance, but difficult energies that you've let into your life before, which, which created more difficult situations for you before. Being very, very choosy and very selective as to who you let into your life. Let's get into this reading more. Time for a beginner mindset, Aquarius. This is definitely having higher standards, looking for a more philanthropic nature to people. Um, do they care about other people or just themselves? This is Aquarius. You could be. Um, being able to see through somebody's prickly nature, maybe they're not that easy or difficult, but there's something valuable about them. Um, but this is also an energy saying you should be prepared. You should allow yourself to be more openly and overtly bristly and defensive and let people know that you're ready. Like you don't have to walk into a room trying to impress people. You don't have to walk into a room trying to be the most perfect because I know your appearance has a lot to do with your self-esteem, but this is having self-esteem based on your natural appearance, having self-esteem based on who you are, not this, this perfect idea it's almost like you you're it's almost like waking up to realizing you got it twisted. Those things that you put all the attention onto were actually things that were not working for you. If that makes any sense. This could also be a reason to defend yourself. Realizing that somebody in your life you actually have to defend yourself against, that they're not who you originally saw them on as those original qualities that would have attracted you or made you trust this person. Not so much like realizing that there's a reason now for self-defense. Reclaim your power, taking back who you are, taking back your sense of self. I know this is something that we've been struggling with since October. Um, but feeling more comfortable and more able to be able to do this. This is also, like I said, a type of self-defense being on your own side instead of somebody else's. And instead of just going along with things and agreeing with them, maybe you're surprising them because you've been more disagreeable lately. And that has a lot to do with, look how these cards match. This is 44 and which equals eight. And this is four four and eight. That's really interesting. And then four plus eight is 12, which would be three. I think it's time. This is, this is what the number of three is the most balanced number. It like, think of a triangle. It is, it is precision balance. I feel like this mentality is bringing you back into a balance, getting a more cleaner, fresher, but also wiser understanding of what you, you what you should allow into your life and who you should allow into your life. You see clearly now there's lots of Aquarius energy. I am wondering if there's an Aquarius that's just come into your life or just adopting this kind of um, overview perspective, this um, um, aerial view perspective of things, removing yourself emotionally from things 
becoming more withdrawn emotionally and objectively just looking at things and reviewing people from those criteria, you see something in the dark. I feel like you see a danger coming in the dark and it's based on your experiences in the past. There's some sort of red flags that you're recognizing based on behavioral patterns or experiences that you've had. And that's what I'm talking about. The wisdom is this, this is the wise old owl. This is use your mind wisely. This is understanding and seeing things that normally that before at another point in your life you couldn't see, but you you're starting to see them now. And I and I do think that you understand the gravity of them and they're not worrying you, but now you're sitting here contemplating, okay, I'm not scared of this information, but what do I do with it? Spotting it, realizing it. And, but now how do I act on it? That's the kind of energy. It's like pausing and making sure that the time is right to leap. Cause you may not want to attack right now. You may just want to be aware so you can navigate your distance from this situation instead of making a decision to sort of call it out and a swoop down and attack it. Because owl is definitely a predatory bird. They're definitely ready to see in the dark and attack their prey. But if this is what they spotted in the dark, they wouldn't be attacking this. They would just be happy that they saw it because if they swoop down too low, this could attack them. And I feel like that's where you're getting it. It's like you, you now become wise to somebody's behavior. You've now become wise to some sort of hidden danger that you would not have been wise to before. Be fearless and bold. Interesting energy to have as your central energy. Why? Because this is your opposition sign. This is Aries. This is an energy of self, self-appreciation, learning about who you are, being strong and being bold. Not arrogant at all, but knowing how valuable you are, knowing your own self-worth. And he always reminds me of a warrior too. There's something about him, badger. Badgers are bold. They're, they're sharp, they're bold, and they're aggressive. So this is sort of the central, this is this, your central energy to your reading this week, Libra. And, and for me, that's telling me you're really fueled up. You're really feeling empowered, empowered by some sort of energy that it, this maybe Martian energy, Mars energy, um, feeling more comfortable in not being nice or not feeling like you have to be nice. Look at four. Again, there's this, this stabilizing energy to you this week. Uh, and it all has to do with believing what you see and not trying or over, like overcompensating, not overcompensating. This guy doesn't overcompensate. He calls people out on their BS. And I don't think, like I said, I don't think that you have gone that far, but there's still this energy of just basically taking in information, but believing the information and not tr like trying to like compensate and be like, oh, maybe it could be this, or maybe it's really that, or maybe I should give this a second, a second, uh, like a, the benefit of the doubt. No, you see it, you believe it, you recognize it, you're aware of it. And now you're strategizing about what to do about it. Hawk, let spirit be your guide. More air energy, more aerial view perspective, but this is raw truth coming out. And I feel like this is like that stripped down version of what you're capable of if you allow yourself to not worry about what other people think of you. But this is it. This is that raw truth that's um, sort of objective perspective and seeing things for how, how they are and for what they are. And that's the change. This three plus two is five. That's the change is your ability to connect with spirit, believe in spirit, believe in the messages that are being sent to you, believe in the information that's coming to you instead of sort of trying to deflect it and make it something, um, soften it up somehow. Know your worth. A lot of this is coming out and this is nine energy of nine. So something is coming to a head and I think it's energy. I think it's information driven. You standing on your own side, maybe you have discovered, you see the common thread of the black and white, of the extremes and the contrasts. Do you see? That's really interesting. Whew. 
I almost feel like you're able to see something that was very good at blending in before. You're being able to see something that hid itself, covered itself. And I think you helped to put the, the perfume on the skunk. I think that you helped to sort of maybe put the skunk on a pedestal and maybe not called it out for what it is or its behavior could very well be a behavior of it's very okay it's very contradictory to who your nature isn't it because seeing things in black and white is not you seeing those middle ground seeing those gray areas that's you but this is calling you over and over and over again to call a spade a spade black and white bring a gentle touch this is virgo energy very loving very caring new love gentle so this is also part of your mentality once again i don't think you're going to go on the attack like i said virgo takes in information virgo ponders but there's also a mercury retrograde mercury's in retrograde it rules virgo so let's discuss what that means in this reading you're going over things you're being very particular before you make these judgments or no no before you make these decisions, you're, you want to take a second look. And I don't think this time around, it's you want to take a second look because you're in denial or because you're concerned or you're trying to make something go away or mute something. I just think that you want to take a second look so that you have all the facts, accept all the facts as they are, so you can actually be more strategic in how you address this but for you that in and of itself is aggressive energy let's see what your grounding energy is Lots of energy coming out. Ooh, and look at what just snuck out. Ooh, the mask is coming off. Any kind of mystery or mysticism is falling away. Any kind of deceptive mask that somebody was wearing is coming off. Maybe you're coming off. Maybe you're like tearing off your own mask and like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm like, this is like black and white now, not gray areas. I'm calling a spade a spade, blah, 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 all those things. But I think that this is basically, some, there's a mask coming off. There is truth coming out. And basically seeing somebody for what they really are. Time for a deep dive. Could have to do with romance. This is your card. But this is going deeper than normal. This is very romantic, flowery love. This feeling of like, you know, um, just that, that kind of lighthearted, very la vie en rose type of energy that could have been used to disguise, manipulate, or just seeing, seeing things through rose colored glasses. That's what's dropping away. Seeing things through rose colored glasses, seeing, seeing your partner in this ideal way. And instead now seeing them in a very much more real way, seeing those nuances, seeing those shadows, seeing those highlights. Interesting. Give with gratitude and grace. This is seven. Um, whew. So much air energy here, which is so appropriate for you. Oh, this is chameleon energy, a change. Once again, something being unveiled or something. It's almost like starting to see that somebody was giving and caring and donating and doing all of these things, but for more, <sighs> self-serving reasons, as opposed to um, um, philanthropic reasons. That's why there's so much uh, Aquarius energy here. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but there is definitely an energy of, um, starting to see somebody's 
like kind behavior as a means to disguise something that was beneath them. Look at this. Those hidden demons, those hidden skeletons, skeletons coming out of the closet, maybe just discovering skeletons in the closet of somebody, discovering their shadow side. This is very scorpionic energy, trying to look into the future, trying to be playful and have fun, like on the surface, being playful, having fun, being progressive. But then underneath, there's a lot of demons, like holding them down, tethering them. This could be you too. Eight plus three is eight, eight, 11. Um, Awakening, awakening to a truth, a darker truth about somebody. Lay a solid foundation, also Virgo energy. You have a lot of Virgo energy here and trust in the great mystery. This is your grounding energy. And what it's saying is you're believing what's coming to you. You're believing what you see in the dark. You're believing what you see in the depths you're diving into the depths and you're believing what you hear. I honestly feel like it, maybe this is something that you put off for a long time, Libra. Um, you didn't want to see it. You, you, you were more than happy to live in that kind of self-like denial. But um, this week, you, there's no avoiding it. This, this is, it's coming up. It's like digging. I told you a lot of stuff is going to be coming up during Pisces season. A lot of old stuff that maybe was put into memories. This could all be memories, digging up those memories to sort of inform you so that you don't make the same mistakes again. But I also think that this is a current situation that you're seeing like almost like the skeletons that were buried underneath the house. And now, instead of normally what you would do is try to like paint them and decorate them and, and somehow make them beautiful, that's not what's happening. You're seeing them for what they are and now making a decision about what to do with it. Like, how do, what do I do with this? If I'm living with a psychopath, like, what do I do with this information? If I'm living with a killer, what do I do with this information? No, it's not that extreme. But now that these, like, skeletons are coming out of the closet, you're starting to see this part of this person that you never saw before, this duality, this hidden self, and... The wonderful part about this week and this energy for you guys is that it is, and it, it may not be a person, it could be with a job, like finally discovering, wow, they're like, 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 like skimming the books and they're not telling the truth about this stuff. Like, what do I do about that? Like that kind of energy of what you, that kind of energy of, of, of something that was hidden, something that's dark coming out. But instead of you, because this is why there's this empowering energy in the center right here. You're seeing the black and white. You're not trying to gray it out, level it out, balance it out, or overcompensate. You're not doing it. Like, this is, oh my God, I never thought this was possible. It's coming out. The impossible has happened. But... You're, you're literally, the, the real impossible thing that's happening, Libra, is that you're not trying to make it or brush it, gloss it over. You're not trying to gloss it over. You're seeing it for what it is. You're believing the truth of it. And now it's just what to do with it. Let me flip the camera angle around. Hold on. Center to this energy is your, is your opposition side. And I think it's you, it's your sense of self that's coming through here and forcing you into a circumstance or a situation that you never thought you'd be in, which is just to accept what you see and not feel like you're the one that has to like rebury it or cover it up. I don't, I don't honestly don't feel like you want to be a part of this. I wouldn't say that you're going to run away from this, but you've literally discovered or uncovered something that is unsettling that would unsettle a foundation and make it rocky and make it shaky so what are you going to do with this information that's interesting because i feel like for the next seven days especially this is you taking inventory and taking stock and and looking at it for what it really is and that's the big awakening and that's the big step forward for you is just seeing what it is seeing the truth of the circumstance instead of Try, like, you know, whatever. We, I've said that a half a dozen times. But the bottom line is now, what are you going to do with that information? I feel like that's almost next week's reading. But let's see. Let's try to get into what will you do with this information? Let's try to uncover where this is headed or where this is going or maybe a few details about this information. You could be also dealing with a person who was, I think in some ways, like I said in the reading, 
you tried to make them into something that they weren't. And now you don't have the same amount of concern to do that. Because it's too much energy. Seeing this, this relationship for what it really is or seeing this partnership for what it really is. And you're more than comfortable doing that. There's a little bit of a peace here. Let's go into your romance energy too. I will see you guys in the extended.